Hey, what up, everybody? Welcome back to Black Ram GX Gaming. We're live. We're here. We're finishing off the campaign. I think we're right at the end of Halo Infinite. Uh, it's building up, and I think it's going to be huge. I haven't seen the ending yet from anybody else, so I'm pretty excited to see how this ends here. Um, so let's get to it in just a second here. If you are watching for the first time and you're even watching after the stream, feel free to drop a like, drop a follow. That's the big one right there. Drop a comment, share if you're on YouTube. Like, subscribe, leave a nice comment. Do all the things. It all goes a long way. It's all really easy to do, and it helps out um, quite a bit. And don't forget, if you're here on Facebook, answer the question. It's a pretty good one today. It's 100% correct so far. Uncanny, what's up? Thank you for the like and being first. Hell yeah, cheers. Ah, love it all. Hell yeah, cheers. Thank you, Uncanny. So, it turns out, by the way, easy question. Yeah, you got it right away. I would have guessed, I guessed that one correctly as well, but I don't know. I don't know my clouds that well. I could have got it wrong. It's been a while since I had to study it. I think like eighth grade is when I learned that a number of years ago. So that's some crazy stuff. We just entered the repository here in the game. From up there. So I don't know what's going to happen. Oh, look at this. Some downed marines. Whew. Oh, man. I thought I heard, like, crying there. Oh. Hello, Ace. suicide bombing <laughs> would have been tough if you had uh if you a geology question through a geology question as a gotcha would have been tough for me at least geology is not my strong suit not mine either so that's good to know guess what i'm doing next week uh-oh well, that was a bold move. Let's not do that again. Banza! Banzai? Oh. Oh, God. Probably should have done that from the start. Guess who's studying geology this week, then? Can't pull a pop quiz like that. Well, at least you know it's coming. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna have some work ahead of you. This could be about anything. There's no source material. No, uh, no book to read. Oh, my. Biscuits, they're everywhere. How'd your stream go today, Uncanny? How are you liking, uh... Oh, what's the game? Tomb Raider. I played it a little bit a long time ago, but... I never got too far in it. Crap, I barely remember the surface of the types of granites and sediments. I don't remember much. It hasn't been too useful to me. So I haven't had to. Don't like the storyline? The gameplay is awesome, though, and I'm glad about that. Yeah, at least you got something. 
I don't even know the story. You know, I've played those games since back in PS1, but it's always been like, I don't know, an hour or two, one day, and then that's it. Not that they were bad, but I just couldn't find myself that interested. The noise these things makes. It's creepy. Oh, Bo, holy shit. What's happening, buddy? How are you doing? Thank you for the like. Oh. Cheers. Oh, that terminal over there. Okay. Yeah, let's go get that there. Can I swing to it? Kind of crazy. Let's see if we can do it. Cool. Why go the right way when we can cheese it? It's useful for those who dig for oil, construction, utilizing all its properties for making it stronger structures and durable ones. I love Tomb Raider games since I uh, played them on PS1. I didn't get it on PS1 because I was super young. So I had a hell of a time. I remember there was like the swampy area of some place. And I was just getting oh, nowhere with it. It was uh it was tricky. Good news first. Then I watch people play it now and I'm like, oh it's so easy. It's probably not easy. But I don't think I ever actually owned it. I had, like, a demo. Demo or somebody forgot it at my house or something? I'm trying to remember. I didn't have it for long. Oh, shit. Well. When, uh... Weapon, our AI was doing the same thing and suffering. We tried to delete her. We could just delete him. Heartless. Oh. Feel his pain. Each twist of my blade hurts you as much as him. He will not die by my hand, but he will suffer until you stand before me. For the banished, victory. It's our shared cry, a refusal to cower, to bend our weaknesses beaten from us. Banished, it makes us strong. Jesus. Your humanity makes you weak, vulnerable, defeatable. Our time together is ending. I await our final fight. There are coordinates embedded in the message. We're going to find him. Good news. He said he won't kill him until I show up. So, I can take my time. The banished have found us. Chief, look out. Right? Yeet. Uncharted as a oh sorry, I'm into puzzles since I was a kid. Love that type. Yeah, I love the puzzles from Resident Evil. I always liked getting people in Resident Evil 2 with the uh, library, where you would run along and fall through. Scared the fuck out of me the first time. Scared plenty of other people since. Hello. I'm 
Uncharted has a dynamic storyline and gameplay. But I'd have to say this Tomb Raider uh, beats it on gameplay. Mm, that could be. That could be. I haven't played an Uncharted game in a long time. I had. I played two first, then I played three. Hey, Moan. What's happening, buddy? Thank you for the like. Um. So I never played three or four. Oh! oh. But they were fun. The story was great. I think, like, by two points. Oh. <laughs> is he actually that big or is he compensating for something? Oh, he ain't that big. He's bigger than me. Three times as big as me. Oh, shenanigans. Just stand here? What? What is the goal? Recognize that structure in the distance. Not by sight, but by signal. Oh, just to look out the window. We can do that. Oh, sorry, if I didn't cheers you, Mohan, cheers. If it's rebuilt, I can only imagine their intention. Ah, open says a me. See here. What's the goal? Especially stare out the window. Yeah, he was stare out the window long enough for the AI to recognize the structure. Oh, hello. This is the window. Hi, I see you. I wish I didn't though. That's a lot of. Guys with heavy shields and swords. Oops. Why won't you die? Oh. Rocket launcher? I was thinking the same thing. Where are you running? Oh, these slippery little snakes. I like this gun. Just slow as shit. Yeah, hopefully there's no enemies to fight me. Ah! Yeah. 
That is how you clear a room. There's another lift nearby. It'll take us close to the surface. Hello. That hurt. I'm not gonna lie, Sentinel. Fucking Sentinel beam is insane. are trying to track us down here. We're going to need to find a way to get it back online. I need some seeds. That's fun. God, that noise. Horrifying. Overkill, I know, but come on. I was getting a little overzealous. Two layers of helmet. Looks like we're trapped in here. Trapped out. Hey, Kayla. What's going on? Thank you very much 
for the like. Cheers. Or maybe not. A teleporter <sighs> up. Thank you. Hey, Sam, what's happening? Cheers. Thank you for the like and the cheers. <sighs> Appreciate you. God, please die. Getting through this. Oh, so did all this go down in four and five? I wonder. Wait. Atriox, leader of the banished. How do you stand? With the banished. Always. Forever. And you understand the consequences of the fight? I do. Do you? 
intricacies of any action are complex. The reactions numerous, yet mostly predictable. Look upon Dorsuk one last time, and remember, you chose this path. As did you, Cortana. Oh, shit. You? It was her choice, her programming. Was it? I don't know anymore. There's something you're not telling me. I'm... The only way to access the ring... ...to reach Cortana... ...was to make a copy. I'll get this open. Reconsider. The consequences of your... Back to your conservatory, monitor. There's your grab lift. Let's get this over with. And remember, you chose this path. I am her? Yes. Didn't see that coming. Systems. All copies. Halsey removed any information that could compromise you. You're her. If we'd never met. Will I do what she did? Become what she became? Am I that already? My mission was to ensure that doesn't happen. It still is. I shouldn't be here. Your mission was to destroy me. <clears throat> I've restored the deletion protocols. I'm ready. It has been an honor. Whatever happens, save him. He needs you. You're all he has. We do it together. How? How can you trust me? I don't. But I want to. Oh my god. So we still didn't do the thing? Did we do the thing? Okay. Let's go save him. Oh, hello. It is but a shell. Holy biscuits.
Jeez. <sighs> One tap machine. There's one skull out here. Maybe we'll find it. Hmm. Don't think we're climbing that. That's the right way to go. So let's go there first. Really nothing up here. That is weird. bold to think that any hidden item might be way down there. So I think I could get down there and swing back up. It's just crazy enough to work. Small critter alert.
What is there here again? Two audios. Four audios and a skull. I'd really like to find that skull. Perhaps it's up here. Oh, hell no. All right. Here I go murdering again. Mike Thomas, it's gone. Did that glitch where you can walk around the tank shells carrying people doing it on Legendary? Oh, I didn't know that was one. I think I saw something like that. There was one where, yeah, you could somehow shoot the tank shells and I don't know. It's been a long time since I saw that, but I saw that before. That probably makes a huge difference. Skulls up there. I don't know. There's so many places the skull can be. <laughs> this is a really big gun. Whoa. Hey, buddy, you wanna get out of the road? Jeepers. Tank plus the classic music is the best. Get out of here, or is somebody locked up? Hello! I thought I could hear that. It's like, I don't see nobody, but I think they're in there. Oh my god, there's so many places for this one skull to hide. Dude, I hope all is well. Hell yeah, dude. It does make things <laughs> it does make things funnier, more enjoyable. You can get it at the beginning when you come out on Zeta Halo, then two Big Mac guns. Or whatever near the first capture base. We'll have them on. YouTube will show you, my brother. Hell yeah. I'll have to look it up. I did see a glitch. I don't know how they did it. It was just like a short video on YouTube where uh, someone had a pelican right from the first base and they were just driving the pelican around. Drove right to the top of the first tower and oh, holy bonkers.
I heard about the Pelgrim. I know. It made me want to do it so bad. I'm like, all right, if I restart the game to do all the collectibles and just use a guide, uh, I'm going to try to do the Pelican glitch and just move from place to place and get it all right from the get-go. Why not? I'm guessing that's it. The House of Reckoning. It looks awesome. I was right. It really is a suitably ominous name. I'm going to check up here for the skull. We fight. This just seems... Oh, this all seems good. Oh, we can box. I like finding as many of these collectibles as I can on my own. But man, they made some of them real tough. Holy crap. Good duck. Good duck. I am just horrible missing right now. It happens. Took me 27 hours first playthrough. A lot of sightseeing and collecting. Oh, hell yeah. I, I've spent days doing that. Maybe I can see how long I've been on this one. Maybe not. I mean, I've, I've missed a ton of stuff. But I found quite a bit. Um, banished audio, I found all but one, two, three, three. And I mean, most of it I found <sighs> so much of. And then I found that it was things um, like the drill, the big drill at the excavation site. I tried getting uh, back into that after I finished it because I found there was an audio log in there I couldn't do. And it was at that point I was like, all right, well, I guess I just can't do it all. Forget it. But I really wanted to get it all in the first playthrough since I had already collected so much. At first I didn't care, and I wasn't going to look up anything because I wanted it to be a surprise. I wanted to just enjoy it. Then I got so far along, I'm like, man, it would suck to recollect all of this. So I don't know if like the achievements or anything reset when you start a new one or you start a new one if the map retains all that you've already found the thing that sucks is the audio logs that's what there's the most of they're kind of i mean the skulls are probably the hardest to find but with the number of audio logs i kind of put them in that hardest to find territory and they're not marked on your map at least the ones you get so that's real annoying they made those uh, a pain for sure. It does, yeah. Then that's uh, going to be rough. But oh well. I'm thinking... Maybe I'll do like a heroic. I had to cheat and use some guides to find the rest because the world is so massive. I know. And some of the places. Some of the places I found uh, things hidden. Just driving around with a wasp once I finally had that. Crazy. Crazy. I could not believe <laughs> that I was finding it. I was like, if I was on foot. This whole time, I'd have never found it. No way in hell you could find some of these things without pure luck. 
or a little bit of a guide. I'm convinced the people who found the stuff and put it all online, well, there was a team of them probably, you know? It's like five guys or something played it through. They all got lucky and found a bunch while researching online too. And, and they made a good map. Some of those interactive maps though, that you can use to kind of zoom in and look around for all the items don't work the best. Because they're so cluttered. There's so much stuff. Hell yeah, they did. Yeah, I, I well, you know, some of those channels and websites, it's a, it's a whole team. You hate that you can rotate the map? Yeah, I know what you mean. Because I think the map isn't... Its orientation on the websites isn't the same as it is for you here. So, like, while you're trying to look north on one end, you're not looking north on the other. Oh! Oh! Okay. How to do this and not die? Slingshot. Slingshot was not the strategy. Wow. <laughs> Failed instantly. <laughs> Maybe I'll just hold on to this. Oh my god, it's just not reloading. This area is kind of hard. It's wide open. I need my sniper. We need a forward operating base here. I can get the flex fire and the regular one. Just pick them off. Got him. I had to take a break from multiplayer, do some campaign. Oh! Can I please get out of here? Oh my god. Oh my health. Oh no. I had to do the same. Hey Levon, cheers. Thank you for the like. I was playing the multiplayer yesterday. And I've had a lot of really good days. And I had like two bad days in a row. I had a few good games here and there. But then a lot of bad games and I was like, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna go back to campaign. Um, which I never finished because I was trying to do some of the collecting offline. Figured it was gonna be boring to watch me sit there and collect using the map. Oh my god. Oh my god. That thing got right up on me, huh? So, I did that for a little bit and I said, ah, to hell with this because there's areas I can't even get to. Made to Diamond 1 and dropped down to Platinum 6. I think I'm like the bars 10% away to uh, Diamond. And that's in the Solo Duo Controller. It's the main one I play. You play on PC with a keyboard and mouse, or are you on uh, Xbox with a controller? Actually, well, I guess doesn't matter you could use a controller or keyboard on either okay so that's done one of you guys has a gun that's okay right wrong Did that not do anything? Alright. I'll be back!
Nah, controller with Series X. Hey, same. Going against keyboard and controller. Yeah, you don't really have much of an option if you got uh, four players. Or if you just don't care. I started off doing uh, keyboard or controller with some buddies. But then I've just been kind of running it solo for a little bit. When I first did my... I think it was my second and then third multiplayer game. My buddy was already Onyx, but he didn't tell me that. He was like, hey, you want to play? Okay. As the game's loading in. Oh, man, I should probably tell you. I'm already at the top rank, so... It might get sweaty. Like, I don't even know the maps! <laughs> I held my own. I still got... I wasn't positive those first few games while I was learning the maps. It's what I'm ranked up higher on, just controller I'm ranked plat one. Ah, okay. I hate the behemoth map. Which one's the behemoth map? I'm trying to think. Um There's a few maps I strongly dislike. There's a few maps that I absolutely love. Um So when I do bad, I and I don't remember the names of any of them, unfortunately. When I do mad bad on the uh Maps I actually like. Oh, that can get to me. The map where they do the capture the flag. Oh, the one where one team starts on the high ground and the other one's the low ground, but they have vehicles. Yeah. That one, you know, sometimes I like it, but it is a super... I don't know, unfair map. Like, I played, um... Because I was having a lot of fun with this until yesterday I started doing some bad games and that's when I switched back to campaign. Um, Tactical Slayer. Where there's no shields, no map. And, uh, I played that map for the first time in, like, I don't know, a couple weeks with that game mode. It's atrocious. You have no advantage being at the bottom. The guys at the top have all the advantage in the world. Tactile's pretty dope. I love it. I love just snapping and getting those headshots. I was absolutely killing at it for the longest time, and it just... I don't know. What I had... What my problem was yesterday is in every game that I did bad in multiplayer... There happened to be one person on the other team who just had my number every time. It would be that same name coming up every time I died. That's what got frustrating. You hate to see it. Hell yeah, all the advantages. Oh, by the way, Mike, sorry. I didn't see it pop up that you also dropped a like. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Cheers. Ah. So what do you think about the campaign? Would you say uh, it was better or worse than, like, if you had to order them in the campaigns you played, where would you put this one? Towards the top, towards the bottom? Hell yeah, I hate that. I know. Totally agree. For me, I'd say it's hard to beat some of the classics because of the nostalgia, but I don't know. This has got to be the best campaign. For so many reasons. The open world's great. The forward operating bases are great where you can load up on Marines, give them any weapon you want, take any vehicle you want, and just roam around and wreak havoc. 
The grappling hook is the best thing they've ever done. It's so fun. I'm obsessed with the grappling hook. I used to play uh, a lot of Apex Legends. And in that game, there's a character called Pathfinder who uses a grappling hook. That's all I did in multiplayer is use that and swing around and do all kinds of dumb shit. So I already kind of had an idea of how it worked. The physics are a little different here. Why does this look like an indoor laser tag? I love my re marines up with killer weapons and we all hop in a vehicle and go on a killing rampage. Never played Apex? That's alright. There's a lot of people that still play it. I had fun with it for a long time and Battle Royales just kind of got old after a little bit. And then this came out, and I was like, oh, Halo, and it's awesome again. I'm back. What I would do is, uh, got a couple of videos, some shorts I put on YouTube that I'd make the Sniper Squad. I didn't want to give, um, all the Marines rocket launchers because, as you may know, they tend to shoot themselves in the foot and kill everybody. Ah, here we go. So I'd give them all snipers, go around in the Razorback, and it's incredible. The banished dropships would come in, and they would tear that thing apart, killing everybody instantly at any distance, and they're all pinpoint accurate. It's insane, so that's been my play so far. What's my favorite Halo? Man so tough I probably played I probably played Halo 2 the most I liked the multiplayer of prior to this game of Reach a lot Because Reach had one mode that I loved, and that was uh, Team Snipers. So I just played Team Snipers with it all the time for a couple reasons. Uh, a, it's a lot of fun. And B, goddamn. And uh, B, because you got so much practice with it. Because it's the only thing you use. You got infinite ammo. You just blam blam away with that thing and in regular game modes if you got the sniper you got deadly so i loved it i kind of hope they bring back hey snipers honestly they all had really good campaigns but i never played the campaign of four and five so there's aspects of this one so far that, like, they show Cortana destroying Atriox's world and threatening Earth and attacking Sydney, Australia. I'm like, oh, did that happen in all the previous games? I really don't know. Halo 4 is uh, what really got me into the lore of the Halo universe. Yeah, I will say this. 343 did a really good job of expanding the lore. In. I almost think, oh, man. Story-wise, I don't know if it's blasphemy or not, but I think story-wise, 343 maybe did better than Bungie. Bungie obviously started the whole universe and did a lot, but I don't know if I've had a story that made as much sense as this one. The other ones felt a lot like you're just kind of running around doing stuff. Maybe it's because I was a young kid and I didn't care. I don't know. 
Halo 5 campaign was ass. I heard Halo 5 was ass in a lot of ways. I played the multiplayer a bit with some friends. They wanted me to play. There was the 5v5 one life only mode. That was a lot of fun. They had some big shoes to fill. I know, I would have been, I don't know, terrified. I feel like there'd be so much anxiety. They're trying to come out with the next Halo and for it to be everything it was before. Oh! And give people that same experience that they're expecting. Because if you kill, like, I don't know, the best franchise Xbox has ever had. After, I don't know how much they paid for the rights. That would be the end of your career. How do you come back from that? You know? I liked the multiplayer of Halo 4 a lot. Because I played that in Master Chief Collection. When it really wouldn't give you options. It would, you know, you have to select between all the games. And you couldn't play uh, the original Xbox 1 and 2 on Master Chief Collection. Because the servers were so shit that everyone was bouncing around and all that jazz love grip on for oh my god i almost forgot about griff ball i loved griff ball yeah they had the purely griff ball mode for a long time didn't they that was my shit I think I played only that for like a week straight once I discovered it was a thing. Because I wasn't sure how long till they were going to take it away. You know, they had always seen to put those things in for a week and then take them out. And it stayed for a really long time. I'm just wondering what's taking so long for them to put it in this game because they know people love it. Oh shit! Mike, thank you for the 99 stars, buddy. Appreciate it. Cool. Hold on, let me choose you. Cheers. And I think, was it Halo 4's grip ball? That had the passing? I hate, I hate those containers sometimes. Big open doorway. Throw it through the open doorway. Blows back in my face. I can't tell you how many times this happened to me in multiplayer. No, man. Uh, no problem, man. Gotta love. <laughs> Gotta show love. Oh, man. Hell yeah. Thank you. It means a lot. I just remember smashing everyone with the hammer. I, th I liked it because uh, obviously there's the hammer. Everyone's got the hammer. It's an even playing field, so you just had to know when to wind, wind it up. And after so long, you just know. But uh, they made it a little bit more kind of like football, kind of like rugby, where there's some strategy to it. Where you could have one person go long one way. One guy with blockers the other way. And if the team bit on the other end, you just whip the ball back to the left and that guy runs it in. The timing is crucial. Oh my god. There were some games, maybe this happened to you too, definitely happened to me, where you just couldn't get the timing right. If you couldn't get the timing right and the guys on the other team had it down, whoo, that was a rough game. It happens sometimes. Okay, oh, 
Stop moving so much, please. Man, that was a learning curve. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Because when you first start playing Griff Ball, there's a good chance you don't use the hammer that often. I mean, it's a power weapon. It comes up kind of rarely, and everybody's fiending for it. You know, everyone wants it the moment it shows up. So, chances of getting it are super slim. Like, I had a challenge in uh, multiplayer here that I had to get... I don't remember what it was. 10 kills using the machine gun on the wasp. And I'm like, how the hell am I going to get the wasp? It pretty much comes up in big team on one map. And I learned through some of the other game modes that it does come up in other game modes. But I didn't know it at the time. It was one of my first challenges. I think that's it. And everybody's in it the moment it spawns. Like, how is this going to work? Well, it turned into a lot of me standing right on it. <laughs> in order to get that challenge done. But the wasp is amazing. Oh my god. If I get a chance to get in that thing, it's gonna be good. I got some good clips I put on YouTube in the shorts of uh, getting the grappling shot. On that big open map uh, for big team, where there's some kind of mountains and then there's that little space in the middle with the I don't know, like forerunner doorway, kind of like this. And then there's the one cliff that you can launch yourself up onto, and it's always got the skewer or the sniper. And I'm probably not describing it super well, but um, that map, swinging yourself up the mountains and getting high enough to somehow skyjack the uh, wasps. Then that one time, I made sure I clipped it. I felt so good. You feel like a complete badass when you can uh, swing yourself straight up into the sky and get what should be an impossible skyjack. Skewer's name. Oh, dude. I love the skewer. And if I can get the. Uh, whew, if I can get the uh, no scopes with that, you still get like. Someone comes around the corner with a sword or a hammer or something, they get skewered. Oh, you know they're mad. I know I'm mad. <laughs> but it feels good. Especially long distance. Oops. If you can get a long distance skewer, what do they call those? What's the metal for it? I don't remember. That feels good because it's so slow and it has an arc. Oh, big man. Well, <laughs> just full well knowing there was nothing you could do. I feel like it's uh, the equivalent of what the shotgun should be, you know? How you're able to bull true people back in the day. And now you can't anymore because they put that bulldog in there. I'm not a big fan of the bulldog. Not after growing up with the original shotgun. I'm growing to love the mangler. Mangler's so good. I didn't realize it until. Whoop. I didn't even know that guy was going to be there. Until people started uh, one-hitting me with it in multiplayer, and I'm like, what the hell? How are they doing that with a mangler? What I realized is that you just shoot punch like that, that quick. It's insane. And it's an insta-kill. It's better than the sword in some cases. I've completely been fucked up by people while having the sword, and been the guy messing up people with the sword. It's fantastic. The Mangler took the spot of the number one hit melee kill combo. Oh, God, yeah. 
It has increased melee damage? Oh shit, that explains a lot. I didn't know if anything had increased melee damage, but I felt like some did, like the Ravager. Is it the Ravager? What am I thinking of? The one that shoots the lava balls or whatever. It's probably the worst gun in the game, but it's got that spike on the front just like the uh, skewer does. Oh, it does? Nice. Okay. And I'm right about the name. Hell yeah. Oh my god! There's so many! Can you not? Jeepers. I'm trying to have a civil conversation. Oh my. I believe there was a rocket launcher. I can't stand the commando. Here's the thing. Like, when the game first came out, I used the shit out of that commando. I loved it. I thought it was the best gun in the game. And then I kept using it, and people's aim got better or something. Because all of a sudden, I started getting my ass kicked every- Holy shit. Start getting my ass kicked every time I used it. And now I hate it too. I hate it. And I absolutely thought it was the best gun in the game at first. Of like, you know, average weapons. Come on, give me that knee boy. There we go. Oh. Speaking of skewer. Ah. Oh. So hard to get a clean shatter on their armor. The Needler, I've noticed, is insanely good. At There's a perfect range it has to be at. But it will win almost every confrontation if you happen to be in that range. Not too close, not too far. Just right. You know, it's like, uh... What is that? That bear porridge story? Oh! Sir, 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 I'm gonna have to ask you to calm down. Sir. This isn't the best thing to stand on. Oh! Woo! Gotta watch that Achilles. Probably not his Achilles. Probably doesn't even have an Achilles. It was nasty if you could keep it on him. Oh, I know. I, I do love it. But then there's also those times where you absolutely load up on somebody with it. Nothing happens. Or if they're already weak enough, you still need the same amount of kneelers in them for them to explode. So it's, uh, it's tricky. There's a lot of times where you feel like you should have won and you didn't. Do you know, was what he's talking about and Cortana's destruction of his home world and attack on Earth, did that all happen in 4 or 5? Probably not 4. 4 was all about the Prometheans, if I remember correctly. About to hop off, dude. Gotta handle these kiddos. It's been real, man. Hey, it's been real. Pop back in anytime. 
If you haven't already, do me a favor and drop a follow. I could always use a extra person and you're fun to talk to. And hey, maybe we can play some multiplayer sometime. Really don't have many people to play with, so I was looking forward to uh, a little backup. But enjoy those kiddos and don't let them beat you up too bad. It happened prior to you getting picked up in space. Oh, okay, okay. Hell yeah. What the heck? Oh. I thought I heard it saying something about daddy. I'm like, what is going on? Okay. Oh, is this the Spartan killer? Yes, sir. Oh, shit. He's got some good camo. Cortana destroyed Atriox's planet to force his hand, but he never backed down. Holy oh, shit. That's some hardcore stuff. Oh my god. His camo is so good. Alright, savoring. I'll stay for a few more minutes. <laughs> I suppose this is a pretty good point. It's beautiful. That was terrifying. Not gonna lie, you scared the shit out of me multiple times. This thing is sick. And the only difference is it's red. Probably listen to what he's saying. I've literally not listened to a thing. <laughs> but Cortana destroyed the ring herself to prevent them from releasing the endless. Endless. I feel like they mentioned that a little bit. Yeah, something worse than the flood. It was a little bit of time between when I played the campaign, so. Because I was so determined. Worse than the flood, okay. I thought I... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I kind of remember that being mentioned. But I don't feel like they've said or shown much about it yet. I'm getting a read on Echo 216. He's right above us. Or if they have, I just don't remember. There he is. We need to get him oh, out. Echo 216, I'm here to save you. I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure the two guys with hammers standing there won't show up. Bait. I know. They cut, like, two-thirds of the campaign, so you know there'll be DLC. Oh, hell yeah. I saw there was a lot of people checking out different islands around the campaign and saying, this kind of looks like a DLC area, and this kind of looks like one. 
speculating what it is. Get him out of there. I would be very glad if they uh, did some DLC for the campaign. Hell yeah. I, oh, I'm so excited for that. The more the better. Whoop! Uh, before I kill him, I definitely heard an audio pad. that I probably should have got before the fight started. And maybe it's too late now. They call the campaign multiplayer a live service, meaning they will continue to update them throughout the years of content. Oh god, I hope so. Oh, here it is. They could do, uh, like a GTA thing. GTA's been just updating their stuff and continuing, continuing for years now. Maybe that's why they called it Infinite. Okay, yeah, this does not feel like it's doing much. It's cool. But I didn't know that. That's awesome. Oh, is he juicing up somehow? Man, GTA been about for three console generations. Okay, I wondered why he wasn't dying. Down, and so the shield. Yeah, they didn't have to, uh... Oh. They didn't have to do, uh, much for GTA V. The story, the campaign was already huge. Oh. The multiplayer just kept getting bigger, better, kept adding stuff. And like, if you go back to it, there's definitely a ton of people still in those lobbies. It's crazy. Oh, do we expo- okay. I guess maybe I should stop uh, tearing apart the kiddo over there. I stopped after GTA 4. <laughs> I didn't even finish it. My memories is with GTA 3 Vice City and uh, Chinatown Wars for the DS. Oh, I never played that one. Um, the one I played the most was definitely, uh, oh, what's it called? San Andreas. I played the shit out of San Andreas, and I didn't even finish it. I got, like, towards the end, years ago on PS2, and didn't finish it. Um, I didn't play 4 very much. And then I played five through to the, like, I don't know, there's like an ending, and then it keeps going after that, and I didn't know it, because I was just so ready for it to be done. So I, I technically didn't beat this one either. It's just too long. Holy donkeys. 
Oh, no, no. Finished San Andreas and then got bored after that. I spent, I probably could have finished it, but I spent so much time working on cars and trying to have the full territory. bitch diminisher of hope damn this is cool he did it help me get him out <laughs> like uh you get all the like racing cars that were popular from uh the early fast and furious movies when you get to like the second island or whatever around when you're dealing with the pimp <laughs> i'm not even going to say his name but his name was hilarious uh, looking back, I don't even know how I remember it. And I spent so much time pimping out those cars. Chinatown Wars had it where you could buy drugs and sell them. They had cameras scattered around with uh, like hidden packages. When you destroyed the cameras in neighboring hoods, the prices would change. That's hilarious. If they... <laughs> prices would get cheaper. That's awesome. If uh, people who don't play games that are like older generations ever want to cite why games are wrong, they just bring up GTA. It's like, all right, I know how it looks, but they're really fun games. <laughs> Their leader's dead, right? The intricacies of any action are complex. What? What are you talking about? He kind of just laid down, died, didn't he? Okay, then. I have one question before we leave. What is it? Has anyone seen a pelican? <laughs> what? What? I'm just... I had a lot going on. I was asleep. I had a lot going on. That's funny. They have Chinatown Wars on mobile devices, too? Really? It's pretty awesome. I got um, PlayStation 1 on my phone like years and years ago. Uh, emulator. Let me tell you, PS1 games work flawlessly on like four generations ago of phones. So now it's even more perfect somehow. And you can plug a USB PS3 controller in your phone and play off that. I never do, but you can. It's crazy how far along phones have come. I should have realized that's not what it was called. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah, it's, it's awesome. Uh, this is where I locked her down. This is where Cortana died. And that's probably what I play on my phone the most, if I play anything. I don't play much. I get lost in videos, what little time I have on my phone. I use my Xbox controller on my phone for emulation. Actually, yeah. That'd be sick. I've never tried. I use Xbox controls. Oh! Um, if I ever emulate on my computer. Which I haven't done that in a long time. Sometimes it's fun. Hey, Giovanni. Thank you for the like, buddy. How are you doing? I was playing some GameCube games on my phone. Ooh. 
That's a classic. You know what I just discovered? On Nintendo Switch... Oh my god, I didn't even hear him until it was too late. On Nintendo Switch, uh, if you have the normal... And I knew this one a while ago. If you have the normal subscriptions, like four bucks a month, five bucks a month, something like that, it's not bad. Um, you get like a shit ton of Super Nintendo and Nintendo games. It's pretty fun to go back and play all those old ones. And then they got like a slightly better membership or whatever. And in that one, you get some Sega and some N64 games. It's not as much, but it's still pretty cool. You get, like, classic Mario Kart from N64, which was the best one. The pilot touched me when he was down out, spilling his guts to Chief. Oh, man. This game actually does a really good job of invoking some emotion. Because the Chief isn't just, like... As mindless, he has a lot more personality than I feel like he used to. Okay, okay. Immediately figured out that was a bad plan. Tried to turn around. Far too late. Hell yeah, you can't beat the classics. I know. The nostalgic value is just so much. That's it. I'm going to start using a little range. Alright, for you... We'll forget that. He didn't talk too much and had some meaningful lines. Yeah. And it made some of his lines um, more fun since he didn't talk as much. Like, uh, Halo 2. Chief, where are you going? They give the Covenant back their bomb. That's all he says. And it was kind of badass that way. I mean, it was really badass. In this one, he definitely talks more. He's got jokes. The pilot, I didn't feel like... I mean, he was really sad. And when he's talking about his family and how he's kind of a fraud and... He got a pelican because he was abandoning ship. He kind of felt really bad, but... I feel like... Um, your relationship with weapon and how that grows is pretty cool. That's a pretty neat touch. Oh, before I forget, here's my gamer tag. Oh, hell yeah. Classic line. I'll add you in just a second. Once we, uh, well, let me just do it right now quick. Let's see. Find someone. Tweaks chaos. There you are. The only one. Hell yeah, brother. We'll have to do some uh, multiplayer. So I have uh, someone communicating with me telling me where people are. <laughs> you get so used to just doing it by yourself, and I feel like there's some advantage to that. So that way, when you are with a team, it should be cake. People are insane sometimes. Has my city name in it? Waco, Texas. Waco! Oh, I know all about Waco. Yeah, he needs to be reprimanded for stealing the Pelican. That's what I thought, too. I'm like, for a second there, I'm like, oh, this piece of shit. <laughs> then you kind of just feel bad for him. Um, if I write, Waco was where the Davidians were, and who was it? 
um, I can't remember, the government agency, like, blew up their place and opened fire on them and did all this. Crazy shit. Hell yeah. Okay. I thought so. I've seen, I've seen the documentary. Not a documentary, but it was like a show about it. And Twin Peaks. Oh, hell yeah. Yep. That's a classic. The government looked real bad after that whole thing went down. <laughs> after I saw the documentary, I was like, Son of a bitch, is this real? Look it up. Yeah, it's, it's all real. <laughs> Twin Peaks in Waco. Oh. No more. Yeah, they did. And that Netflix show I watched on it definitely didn't paint them in a good light. So. God, I don't know what the group is called. I literally have Salt stuck in my head, which isn't right. Salt is an Angelina Jolie movie. It has nothing to do with that. <laughs> Son of a bitch. I hate hunters. I hate them so much. <laughs> I don't feel like I have good weapons for them. Oh, hilarious. The diminisher of hope is at 69%. That's cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Friendly, friendly. Everyone? I don't mean to. Okay. Six years. <laughs> that's, uh, that's something I do. <laughs> I'm kind of immature sometimes. So, uh, holy shit. So if I see a 69 somehow on the stream, <laughs> I'll cheers to it. Woo, kneecaps, baby. I am too, hell, gotta stay young, hell yeah. We do what we can. I guess he's dead. Can't get too mature. Plus three kids will make you do it. Oh. I think kids will keep you young too. Or make you grow old real fast. Depending on... <laughs> depending on the kids. Not really. I bet. She was expecting you, but Atriox got to her first. You meant so much to each other. Three yeah, kids though, man. Good luck to you. That sounds tough. I always thought maybe one and done. Push to two. But then no more. I don't know. Four, three, and eight. Oh, man. Eight months year old. Oh. Yeah, you got your hands full, good sir. I don't know if I could ever get to four. But you know what? I'm sure I'm not the first person to say that. And then got to four. I got a buddy whose brother has ten kids. And he's one of eight kids. It's like, oh my god. Uh, my dad is one of ten kids. My older brother had five kids. My mom is one of six Oh, wait, five. Sorry. I messed up. Which doesn't look good. That I can't count. All girls? Oh, hell no. You gotta keep going. Keep trying till you get to... <laughs> till you get the boy. <laughs> I got another buddy with... Uh, man. Hold on. Don't... I won't fuck this up. Four. Four. It... 
three girls, and he wasn't gonna stop till he got a boy. He got lucky. <laughs> oh no, I'm done. <laughs> yeah, that's that's about where I would be. No way, Jose. Yeah, ten is insane. I don't know. My dad's side of the family is from New York. I'm from the Midwest. There is a large chunk of that family I've I've never met, and I don't know because <laughs> it's just so many fucking people. Oh my god! Why won't you die? I wasn't trying to make any of them. It just happened with my wife. That's funny. Fallout games suffered three times. It seems like such a good plan until, well, <laughs> until it's not. <laughs> That's funny. Well, you tried, you know. You can't say you didn't try. I love the screams of those grunts. I don't know why. Maybe that sounds a little sadistic. It's just really funny. It's probably because they're just comedic effect for the most part anyway. My mama had all boys. Oh my god, so you flipped. How many siblings do you have? Grunt screams and comments are the best, I know. And there's things I've never heard. I'll watch um, shorts on YouTube of hilarious lines I've never heard. Like. <laughs> the best one I think I've seen is uh, a grunt pulls two grenades and he starts to do the suicide run and he goes, oh, oh, I didn't mean to do this ah! <laughs> just starts screaming oh, that's the best the grunts one of the best things about this game for sure Please leave me be. Four brothers? Oh, okay. Oh, maybe you didn't say that. I was like... I felt like you already said that, but maybe you didn't. When the brutes throw the grunts at you, I love it. Wait. Didn't we win the war with the humans already? <laughs> Just... Or, uh, as you start to destroy enough of the towers, the message change. All right, human, I know what you're gonna do. I know what you're thinking, but hear me out. If you destroy these towers, I'm out of the job. You wouldn't want that, would you? <laughs> the first time I heard that, I was dying. And I didn't want to destroy it because I didn't want to put him out of the job, but I had to destroy him, you know? Gotta get your collectibles. Go. Did just say dog? Kayla, holy shit. Thank you for the 200 stars. Cheers. I appreciate you. How are you doing, Miss Kayla? Staying safe on the roads? Oh. Probably shouldn't just walk right off that, but I will do it. Alright, now I'm about to hop off for real this time. <laughs> Enjoy the chat. 
see you online. Yeah. Hell yeah, man. I will see you online as well. I enjoyed the chat too. Glad you popped in. Until next time, you stay uh, stay good. Four girls, man, that is a challenge. I'm just gonna say good luck. <laughs> Sounds like in the long term you're gonna need it. Uh, of course it's an ambush! Do you think that we wouldn't ambush you? Oh my god. You know he's gotta go when he starts sniping me. Everyone flee and scream. Oh. Oh my god. I was looking for him for the longest time. Oh, for the longest time. Checkpoint? Must be all dead, allegedly. say I kind of forgot about the harbinger and who they were talking about for um, a minute here What go where? Oh, hello. I see what's sort of bad feeling about all this. Starting. Good point. That feels like that's where the battle's going to be, right? Understand the consequences. 
Could you humor me? If you knew how you were going to die, how would you live your life differently? I would change nothing. Perfect. Thank you. Was her. She destroyed the ring, stopped my deletion. Why? Sacrificed herself. This must be end game. The silent auditorium. Forerunner, obviously. It appears to be. Oh no. What is it? It's a courtroom, a prison, a place of execution. All these things, together. Why? Colonnades Adrian, we stood silent, unable to speak, and they had judgment. They could not defend ourselves. We could not reason with them. Something sending a signal. Before you ask, I'm already tracking it. Hear this, forerunners. Your auditorium has fallen. The endless foul. Your sins undone. Today we return. We? What's she doing? She's trying to open a connection between here and somewhere else on the ring. Where? You deal with her and I'll find out. God, they ripped me to shreds from the start. I guess I should have led with grenades, maybe. Intercepted. 
to the carrier wave from this transmitter. Oh my god. Transmitters rerouting the power through that one. This isn't good. The connection is sentient, it's searching for something. Shit. Oh my god, she's so good. Please tell me this is phase two and I'm not starting over it. Helping me. Holy shit! Fuck that.
Oh, oh okay, he's dead. Holy biscuits. Oh, Justin, what's going on, buddy? Long time no see. Cheers. Thank you for the like. Oh. Got her ass. What's up, man? She's here. How much? I think we're at the very end here. I don't know. I think I just beat the final boss. Cheers. Yours too. They will make sure. We need extraction. Of course you do. On my way. Of course you do. This guy spends the whole game saving us. Oh, nice. How was it? The buddy said it's actually really good. He said it's his second favorite campaign after two. Yeah, that's what I said earlier today, too. I love it. It's amazing. It's probably realistically the best one, but the old ones have nostalgia value, so it's hard to beat that. Look at us. We just keep saying goodbye, don't we? But, like, you get open world and so much, so much fun. Rectify mistakes. The story's significantly better. The characters have way better arcs. Might be the best thing they've ever put out for this franchise. But I forgot that the whole point of all of this, the entire reason that I chose you in the first place was that we were supposed to be a team. Couldn't get really into four. I never played four or five. I skipped. And I was like, man, I hope that's not going to suck too bad. It doesn't make doesn't make a big difference if you skip four and five. In these final moments, I know what my last mission is. I need to make sure you two learn from my mistakes. Because I don't really know what happens in four or five. And maybe that would have helped a little bit, but I didn't feel like I needed it. Kind of left a little more mystery to it, a little bit more for you to figure out. Reach and 3 ODST were good, though. I loved Reach. A lot of people didn't like it. But it was my favorite multiplayer. I don't know what to say. ODST was badass. It was like a realism. It was so hard. We need to get out of here. Legendary now. ODST is fucking ridiculous. Yes, I know. I but know. I loved it. Barely played wait. 4 and number 5. I played 4 a little bit on Master Chief Collection, but just the multiplayer. Five, I did a little bit of multiplayer too. Any other suggestions? No, but this is a really bad idea. Hey, Robert Reach was amazing. Hell yeah. I like Robert. <laughs> ODST was brutal. God yeah, you had no 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 shields. You had to run around and find health packs because your health wouldn't just come back. I did try to tell you it was a bad idea. Like the pistol was amazing in that game, so you had to rely on the pistol, the sniper, battle rifle, or whatever they had, but, and just staying as far back as you could. Or a multiplayer where one guy stays back, and the other guy goes and pushes again, and again, and again, and again, until it works. Played lots of four multiplayer, it was decent. It was nice having the ability to run. Be precise. 
if we went through time. This ring is different than the others. It vanished in the Harbinger. We're looking for something that was never found. Why would the Forerunners hide something and throw away the key? Doesn't that scare you? No. You're not missing much other than the story with Halo 4 and 5. And something like 4 kind of was like its own thing with the Prometheans, which don't seem to appear in this game. Is going to ask me what I and then 5 was like, what, Cortana was going rogue, and then there's you versus other Spartans, but you must ultimately work together or something. I heard someone earlier, uh, Mike, up through the chat, was saying that 5 was atrocious, and I heard that from a few other people. So when I heard it wasn't that great, I just never even gave it a try. But the commercials and everything had me really interested, I'm not going to lie. They did a pretty good commercial marketing campaign back in the day. Not the first time someone's ever hugged Master Chief and been this giddy around him. What is it? We still don't know your name. We can't keep calling you Echo 216. <laughs> That's fair. No, you can't. Esparza. Fernando Esparza. It's nice to meet you, Esparza. Fernando Esparza. Good work, soldier. And what about you? What about me? What do I call you? Any ideas? Well, do you think it would be okay? Sure? No, that'd be weird. You Don't do it. To choose your name. <laughs> then I think I think I might have the perfect one. <laughs> all right. <laughs> He's just like, "All right. Don't tell me what it is, but let's go." <laughs> Get ready. So they just replaced Cortana with another Cortana <laughs> by naming her Cortana. That's obviously what that's got to be going for, right? Hey, Robert. Cheers. Thank you for the like. All right. Yeah, I love this campaign. It was so much fun. Big map, collectibles. You can get any vehicle you want after a certain point and just fly around. And um, all the little missions and things you can do are great. I love the boss battles and walking in and having a little bit of a um, cutscene with it and there's unique weapons all over that were super cool. Different weapon variants. Definitely a good one to replay. Yeah, we don't need to watch this, do we? Post credit scene. There's a lot of thought that there's going to be DLC to this, too. We were discussing that earlier. Maybe we'll get to see some of these endless... Supposedly worse than the Flood. It's an interesting concept. I don't know who that was. Atriox had the white face paint and he's dead. Echelon or whatever his name is died. You ready? Are you kidding me? I was born ready. Wait, isn't that what you should say? Oh, look at that. You, so you can now just get the rest of the collectibles. So I'm missing one thing there. One thing there. Handful of things between all of this. 
That's kind of nice. You get the ability to go back and find what's left over. The only thing is, the stuff inside some of these buildings you can't quite get. I was told you can glitch your way back into some of these things and get stuff too. Foundation. Well, that's interesting. I have one thing in the drill site. One um, audio lock I can't get. I finished it with 97% complete, still trying to get all the audio logs. Um, this is leaving tons of room for DLC for sure. Yeah, I've seen people flying around to the outer edge of the map, and there's a bunch of little islands around that you can see, and uh, some kind of look like there's stuff going on there already. So they're kind of kind of hitting at it already, and that's pretty awesome. Well, how about that? All right. Well, that's going to about do it for tonight since we beat the campaign. I won't uh, bore anybody with collecting stuff uh, since I don't even know where it is. And the audio logs aren't tracked. Everything else is tracked here, but the audio logs, what a pain. So, I don't know. Now that I know I can, I'm just going to run through it sometime and try to pick up all that stuff just for fun. But thank you guys all for showing up tonight, dropping likes, shares, comments, hanging out with me. The story was great. Uh, if you haven't played it, I would highly recommend it. Uh, I loved it. I loved it uh, every step of the way through. It, the only reason I had breaks between it and was a little slow to beat it is because uh, I just wanted to get all the collectibles, and I just stopped caring. And now that I know that you can just go back and get them, that's a plus. So, uh... I'm going to do a few shout-outs here. Thank you, Uncanny, for the like. Bo for the like. Mohan for the like. Kayla for the like. Uh, and the 200 stars. Sam, thank you for the like and share. Mike, uh, Thomas, thanks for chatting with me for so long. Thank you for the like and the 99 stars. Levon, thank you for the like. Giovanni, thank you for the like. Justin, good to see you again, buddy. Thank you for the like and the share. And Robert, thank you and Justin for chatting with me right here at the end. Dropping a like as well. Appreciate it. We're going to be doing... Some more multiplayer here on Monday. And then Tuesday, we're going to try Rainbow Six Siege Extraction since that comes out for free on Game Pass. Might as well. It's free. God, I got to say, I love Game Pass here on Xbox. 120 some games that are free all the time, putting brand new ones on there. It's amazing. It's amazing. So, yep, that's the plan going on here. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Uh, probably won't be able to get on at all, but we'll be back as soon as we can. So. Oh, and before I forget the question of the night, uh, and most of you got the answer right, so most of you already know it. Which of the following means rain when added to a cloud's name? Is it Nimbus, Cirrus, Alto, or Strato? And it is, in fact, Nimbus. 60% got it right. Nobody voted for Cirrus or Alto, and the other 40% voted for Strato. So Strato Cloud, Strato, Strato Cloud. I'm saying, I'm probably saying it wrong. Anyway, those ones are the massive clouds, where as far as you can see is just one singular cloud. I don't know how I remember that, because I thought it was fascinating in 8th grade when I learned that. Um, for some reason, I thought Nimbus was the rain one, so I happen to get that one right. I don't get these right a lot. So <laughs> so thank you guys for uh, hanging out, playing along, and supporting in the ways you do. We'll see you guys next Monday, 6 to 9 Central Standard Time, per the usual. Till then, stay fresh, cheese bags.